Hey Venetia's cutesy squad. So I want to tell you this little story. When I was younger, I think I was like in maybe middle school, you know? So I remember one time that I was watching like, um, I was watching a show. Actually it was like a movie kind of, you know? And I was watching, what I was watching? I think I was watching Michael Jackson, you know, his, his documentary, you know, the one when it's like, um, a man, and I think it was an, an American dream, Jackson, I think it was, or was it a Jackson's American dream? I think it was American dream and then it says Jackson, right? Or Michael Jackson, right? I think it was an American dream. Michael Jackson, something like that, right? So I was watching that. I was watching Michael Jackson's um, documentary, right? And I thought of finding needles, right? I found like needles, you know, like the nails on the floor. I found them on the floor, you know, and I wanted to stack them right next to me. So I'm sitting on, it's like steps. So it's two steps before you get into the, um, the living room, right? So I was sitting on the steps watching An American Dream, you know, the documentary, right? And I went to the bathroom. I found, like, nails on the floor. So I picked them up, and I went back to the living room to sit back down to watch the movie, right? For some odd reason, I thought just, like, put the nail face up like this, right? Not me thinking that I'm going to step on it later, you know, when I go back to the bathroom, you know? So I'm stacking it. I have maybe like six nails on the floor like this in a row, right? It's not in the not not it's not like um all the way to like the step area, but it's like in between, right? So either way I would step on it, right? Apparently I didn't remember that it was nails on the floor. So when I went back to get me some food, right? I was happy because I was watching an American Dream and watching the the history of Michael Jackson, right? The how it all began, you know. So I ran back to the living room, forgot that the nails is on the floor, lined up very perfectly, right? And I s jumped down from the step. Guess what happened? The nail went straight into my foot, and I fell down, and I was like why is my foot hurting that I look down the nail is like punctured into my foot like the nail is like this big right and this much of the nail went inside my foot right and it's not like it's on like the heel part of my foot so that is a lot of skin on that part right so I'm hopping crawling to the bathroom right because I want to see the damage what happened right because my leg is in pain right so I sat on the um, toilet seat right and I'm looking and I'm like why God why you know the movie's still going on because it's on TV right so I'm sitting on the uh, on the on the toilet trying to take this big nail out of my foot you know it took a while and it made a big hole in my foot so the hole was like that big you know like a circle hole right and I was like what the hell so I'm trying to like move it and the thing was like very stiff into my leg I guess it went so far kind of you know that it got stuck in a way you know so I had to do like this when I did like this it hurt it even more you know it hurt it hurt it more than getting it stabbed in my foot can you believe that I can't believe that hurt even more than getting stabbed in the foot, you know, on the heel part of your foot, right? So I'm wiggling it, eventually I turn it, you know, and it came out, right? Now I'm putting the nail in the trash because I don't want the nail anymore. I'm not going to stack it up anymore because now I have common sense to not do it again, right? But, the, but um, over there, the nails are still stacked up, you know? still but i i looked at the um the cut and it looked disgusting you know because it was very deep you know and i'm like oh my god like now i gotta get some 
paper or like tissue to like wipe off the excess blood coming out of when it it didn't it didn't it was not that much blood i could tell you that but it was just like a hole so it was a little bit of blood but it was not that much you know so i put a band-aid on it and it's still a hole there you know so i put a band-aid on it and then i went back to um I went back to the living room, right? And I was like, this is so stupid. So I didn't I didn't go back on the step. I I sat right here beside the step, right? And I'm pushing down all the nails with standing up still, right? Because I don't want that thing to happen again, right? I don't want to get a stab a second time, right? So I put down the nails and I put it on the counter because I don't want ha this to happen again. So after that the movie was the show or the movie was almost done you know so i went back in my room and now this is like me telling you how i got how i stabbed my foot when i was um when i was younger right that's when i was younger the whole cleared up you know it's not there anymore you know and i'm kind of happy about that because it healed the way i wanted to heal right so, I didn't know a bus come down here. Interesting. Now you know something. Anywho, so it healed up, you know. The cut healed now, you know. It, it don't have a hole in it. It don't have a hole anymore. Kind of happy about that, you know. Because I thought that hole would stay there forever, right? But, of course, your skin healed, right? It's supposed to heal, right? That's doing his job, right? So, when it was healing, it was looking disgusting. It had, like, a little flap, and then it looked disgusting because the flap looked it kind of see-through. I didn't want to peel it or anything like that because I thought, like, if I peel it, then it's going to look disgusted even more, you know? So, I was like, nah, this is not going to work, you know? So... I put a band-aid on it until it started to heal fully so the skin was gone at the moment so I'll tell you about that it worked kind of I didn't I didn't plan on getting my foot stabbed in you know but things happen you know so yeah like and subscribe to any notifications I see you later bye